All right, shower is completed. That's not okay. Oh, I just saw the net again. That's not okay, in my opinion. Oh! <laughs> I have order takeout, because I have. I'm using a little butternut right now. <sighs> Trying my first bite of food. It dribbled on me a little bit. One day, I will be. People say I'm jealous when the king is watching. You like your life, you like your life. Hey there, YouTube. It's me, Hens, and I'm back with Amber Lynn, and she's going to be traveling just like we all knew because she got the new suitcase. Uh, and then she's giving us her, her thoughts on Nicocado Avocado, a.k.a. Nostradamus Avogadro. Let's get into it. Hello, hello. Welcome to a new vlog. Right now I do have some laundry going, and sometimes that washer and dryer can get super loud. Can we please do a throwback? How about you wait until you're not doing laundry since you don't do anything else with the rest of your day? How about that, Amber? Like, she thinks it's quirky to do that because she sees other YouTubers and influencers do that. But like, they have lives, Amber. Most of the time, those people have kids or a partner or a job, something real to do with the rest of their time that they're like not just sitting around the house back when I first moved in here I didn't get to use my dryer for six months because they took forever to fix it so I had to literally use a different unit that was fun I love living here but that was a frustration I was patient though it's totally fine anyways welcome to a new vlog hello hello there's a siren as soon as I was about to film okay so if you guys remember in one of my last videos I got the 100 envelope savings challenge for me and my mom and I gave it to her and she freaking loved it and she's so excited to use it so I said I would explain it to you guys for those who are interested in doing it so you literally have Three years to fill my up when you put so I currently only have 20s. We're so not going to do I think what I'm going to do, do is I'm going to add one 20 to my 20 envelope. I was going to add two more 20s to like my 40 envelope or maybe even three 20s to my 60. No one cares. But I don't want to get all crazy, okay? I just want to do the 20 right now. All right, you guys. So let's go. I mark it up. Thing. So inside of my new suitcase. And for me, that's important because last time I bought a suitcase, I also made that mistake and I looked on the inside once I got home and it was not my aesthetic. So let's have a look. Amber, you're not going to be looking at the inside of your bag. It's going to be closed with your clothes in it or food because that's what you do. You put your groceries in it. Look, see together. Oh, thank God. It's literally just black. There is writing on it though, probably just the brand. It looks like this. Thank God. The zipper works so good because again, the suitcase that I actually have just is not good. The wheels aren't good. The zippers aren't good. The wheels aren't good because you've used it on cement. You literally used it to carry heavy grocery items because you're too fat and immobile to do it yourself. Like, that's your fault that it's like that. It's not even that cute of a suitcase. Like, what was I thinking? I also need to find my scissors because this doodad will not come off without one. Fun. Where did I put my scissors? Let's go on the scissor hunt. By the way, do you guys like my mesh? The spider webs? No, I don't like how it wiggles when you wobble. When you're waddling. I think it's so cute. So I just have it on under this like black dress. I love mesh. All right, scissors, scissors. Where art thou? Literally found them immediately. So obviously, since I bought luggage, that does mean I am traveling. I haven't like traveled in a hot minute. Obviously. Obviously, you guys. Since she bought new luggage, she's traveling. I mean, I traveled to get here, obviously, but that wasn't like a vacation. That was literally just me coming here to move here, which I don't know if I consider that to be the same thing. This is so cute. It literally comes with this tiny little bag. I don't know if I'll actually use it, but adorbs. It won't fit. But yeah, you know, traveling at my size it won't is kind of hectic, kind of scary but kind of gonna be worth it and i am very excited literally all of this was shoved into this bag and you guys i got so excited when i saw these little bubbly doodads and it's not the ones that pop, they don't pop so i don't get the satisfaction Aww. rarity's already trying to play and sniff rarity so going rarity on gray right now i have been getting so many people mentioning nikocado avocado to me asking like when is that gonna be me is he gonna be your trainer since you were his dietitian what do you think of his weight loss like oh my She's so mad that joke came back on her. Yeah. So if you don't that know the backstory roll. between me and the Kakado Avocado, him and I used to be friends or what I considered friends. Like we would literally text. We would talk. No, you weren't. You were influencers on YouTube and you were both lol cows. Nobody cares. No one cares. 
about personal things in our lives, you know, ask each other advice. It's what I considered a friendship and he wanted to He's a troll and you're mentally ill. You're both mentally ill. And he's abusive or at least likes to feign it. And that's gross. For money. To collab with gross. me, asked me multiple times, like, gross. this was back 2019, 2020, and I just wasn't ready. I didn't feel like at my best. And it's like, I really liked him. And I was like, I don't want him to meet me like this, especially like 2019 in Berlin, like, was hectic. 2020, COVID was happening. Yeah, the bleeding. Yeah. I would imagine that would have been hectic. I got diagnosed with cancer, like just a lot was happening. So I would always tell him, yeah, we can collab, but I'm just not ready yet. And I don't know really like what switched in him. But one day, like he made a video like insinuating that I lied about cancer. And then from that point on, he would take things that I would do or say like in my YouTube videos and like exaggerate them to like the millionth degree, like pretty much like making fun of me, which I don't mind that. Like humor in that regard, trolling in that regard, it's like whatever to me. Like thank you for finding me that entertaining that you want to like use some of my traits of course she thinks it's about her like it's not about you amber he has personal flaws that makes him do those things it's not necessarily about you god damn listen to your videos like thanks i guess it's the part where he insinuated i lied about cancer that's the part where pretty rough like he has a large audience people contacted me thousands of people just whether it be in other youtube videos reaction channels ma'am you have a large channel and you told everybody that Casey used to f physically and mentally force you to have sex with him. Remember that? And then you came on to make a fake ass not good poem. Rain and penalties draft. Comments on his video, my video, reaction channels, videos, DMs to me, it doesn't matter like there were thousands of people under the impression that I lied about cancer, and that's not okay. And a lot of people said it was because of Nikocado Avocado saying that. And if that many people can watch that video and put two and two together, then it's enough to make me be like, wow. That that's called hearsay, Amber. That means that if you have not watched it, you're just going off of what people say, not what you know, because you're dumb. And that's, yeah, that's what you do. do. So regarding his weight loss... I just want to say that I am proud of him. I know losing weight is super hard. I have no idea how he- Ma'am, you cannot be proud of something that you cannot achieve or that you have not already achieved in this way. Like, it's not like us being proud of Olympians. Like, it's you not understanding basic health. She just doesn't understand nutrition like I do. Amber, remember that? Remember that? about destiny but here you are still he did it. i just knew that he was always still. pretty smart about things absolutely he knew how to a waste 100 percent. and i always knew he was going to do something like this but like this extreme i'm shocked but i'm proud do i like him as a person because of what he did to me no can people change and apologize and move on yes but do i think he's ever going to do that i have no idea like sure he's different physically but that doesn't mean he's a different person. she's asking herself all these hypotheticals i love that and it's so apparent that that's what she's doing. Person. I'm always proud of anybody. Like, no matter if I like them, dislike them, love them, hate them, whatever. Like, I'm proud of anybody improving themselves. Mm, but I am that's curious, not true. How did he do it? How long did it take? Like, I low-key would love, like, if he made, like, a video, like, a documentary. Documentary. <laughs> a documentary. Doc Why is that word so weird? I'd love if he made, like, a documentary of, like, how he did it and, like, how he is always two steps ahead and, like, played the YouTube game. Like, that would be... That would be cool to watch. I think there's like a big misconception about like fat people not being proud of other fat people for losing weight. Because I know a lot of people are like, oh, Amberlynn is probably jealous or whatever it may be. No, Amberlynn, you're just fucking ignorant. That's literally rhetoric from the fat positivity movement and the body positivity, uh, body positivity and fat positivity movements. Like literally, that's standard rhetoric. And the fact that you don't know that or you're not acknowledging that is dishonest. Maybe, but like, no, like I'm like the complete opposite of that. Like I root for other fat people to live their freaking best life. And if that's losing weight and you're doing it, then like, I'm proud of you. I'm Amberlynn Reed. Losing weight is freaking hard. And I completely like look up to anyone who does it. And it seems like he did it really quickly. And it's just like, okay, what did you do? Tell us more. So when I went to TJ Maxx the other day, I did not find everything that I was looking for. One of the things was like a hygiene bag for when I travel. So I was actually able to get one off of Amazon. It hasn't gotten here yet. But while I got that, I also got some like 
containers. This is like to carry my shampoo and conditioner. And then to carry like just things that like are in a big package and I don't feel like having like the whole package. Lotions or like there's a body wash I use where it's like a big container. So I'm just gonna add it to these. These are honestly so cute. I genuinely love the colors and there were so many different colors, but this is just my aesthetic. I mean, you're like, I want stuff with black and gray or I want stuff with pink. Like there's no this in between. Is so because boring. the hygiene bag I got is actually I'm very so similar bored. to this. That's why I chose these colors. And honestly, I'm a little sad that this bag is white and this one's black, but it is what it is. So I do want to end this vlog. I hope that you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next one. Bye. That was so fucking hello, boring. Hello, hello. That was literally so fucking boring. And then, like, the whole Nick Akato thing. I don't give a fuck about him. I've always thought that he's a disgusting troll. Especially, like, the way he treats different people. Like, because I've seen how he was interacting with the mukbang community in general. And so, like, even... He wasn't really friends with Amber, ever. Like, not really. Not the way that he was supposedly friends with those people. And he fucked those people over. So I don't even give a fuck about Amber in this situation. And I don't care how much weight he loses. It doesn't make him a good person. And it doesn't mean that he's any less of a troll. Literally, the fact that he had people believing that he was still obese and like, whatever. It means that he was a troll. and then whatever his relationship is with Orlin, I don't want to know because it doesn't matter. There's a certain image that he puts out into the world as a YouTuber and he gets paid for it and it's disgusting. And I don't think he should just like Amber shouldn't get paid to get stuffed in her face. And then the fact that she's traveling, I don't really give a fuck. We all knew she just was being cagey because she wants to be that bitch and make two videos out of one. Like she could have said everything, everything she said in this video, she could have said in that last video. And she didn't because she didn't want to. She wanted to make another nine minute video. So she get mid roll ads and then make us watch this fucking shit. Stupid. Anywho, if you like this reaction, uh, leave a like leave a comment and then if you're not already subscribed subscribe talk to y'all later